Hello everybody, this is multi 24 Gaming, and I am here with Extreme Landings Pro Storm Scenario. That's what we're going to be doing. As you can see, Storm, second, uh, the second three, or second three, what am I saying? The last three missions, so mission four, five, and six of Storm Scenario, we're going to go into Thunder. Alright, Thunder, tools are essential to manage a storm, but it is also important to know what they do in case they fail. Alright. Oh, well, so what to do in case they fail? So basically, instruments are really good for landing, but when they screw up, uh-oh, we're kind of screwed. So, we're going to start. Tonight, we are landing at Lima, capital of Peru. I'd like to fly over the Nazca Desert to see the famous geoglyphs, but maybe it's better to wait for a sunnier day. Yeah, I'd say so, buddy. Look around. It's pretty cool, though. Look at the weather radar. The situation is dramatic. Yeah, it's a pretty dramatic situation. Look at the weather radar. Okay, the storm of cyclone extends to just before the runway, so there's a big cyclone there, and cyclone equals bad. And bad equals, I guess, microbursts. We must avoid it in order not to face microbursts. Can you see that black tunnel? That's where we have to go through. Alright. Fly through the black tunnel, then. Don't forget it. Okay. What? Oh, shoot. What happened? What? What was that? We've been hit by lightning. All metric systems are out of order. Oh, I remember this now. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. This time the challenge is tough. Did you memorize the best weather areas to go through? Oh, shoot. Yeah, okay, so there's a tunnel. Uh, the, we have to remember that tunnel. All right. I think we're sort of in it, and we can sort of start heading towards the runway now. Um, we were sort of in the tunnel. I didn't look very closely at it. I forgot that that's what we were supposed to do. Without tools, what are we going to do? You think we can make it? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Something's pushing the plane down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. We get the, black, the black line is this way, then. Okay. Um. Wait, wait, wait till the plane figures itself out. All right. All right, yeah, okay. So, we're not being touched. Okay. So, this is where the, the black tunnel is, then. Full back. Flaps all the way down. We're going to do a fast landing. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 1, nope, come on, slow down, plane, there we go, alright, we're down, whoa, 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 okay, yeah, pull up a little bit, that was a little close, okay, here we go, we got this, 15, 3, 20, 20. There we go. Sweet. We're down. We have landed the plane. Yes, we have. Look at it. Look at that landed plane. Ooh, very nice. Sweet. We did it, guys. I wonder why only one of the four lights down there are, are on. It's a little weird. But that's one cool looking plate. Great. A landing worthy of a medal. I think I'm worthy of metal. And to think that the passengers are angry because their movie was interrupted before the end. I know, right? Like, totally unaware that I just saved everybody's life. I am pretty awesome. Alright! Good deal, we've done it! Okay, so we're going to the next one. Highway. The runway is the best place to land, but sometimes you have to find somewhere else. Oh man, Kenzie International Airport, my favorite. Alright. Something is not quite right. I've tried to contact the control tower several times, but down there, there's something wrong. All right, what's wrong down there, mustache man? We don't have enough fuel. We can wait. We can't wait forever, but we have to land now. All right. Anyway, I would like to eat sushi. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what? I got it right? Terrorists? We don't have fuel. We, we need an alternative solution. Sorry, I was talking with the control tower. Unfortunately, the runway is not usable. Terrorists have placed tanks of fuel in the middle of it. Okay, so we can't land there. Tanks of fuel? I don't see any tanks of fuel. Also, runway 2 is being rebuilt after the landslide caused by the recent eruption. Luckily, they have been very fast in finding a solution. They have freed the bridge that connects the air- Oh, yes, we're gonna land the bridge. Yes, I remember this, and I totally accidentally- Alright, so what is blocking the runway down here then? 
I believe it is called Kenzi Kusako Kuko Renuku Cairo or something like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Fuel tanks. Wow. Sucky terrorists. Oh, can't land there either. Okay. We are facing yet another challenges. Are you ready? Look for the bridge and land. All right, there's the bridge and we are going to land on it. All right, I'm gonna bring the speed down. That's not the flaps. I meant to bring the flaps down. Okay, we're gonna tilt nicely into this turn. Oh yes. Think of the comfort that the passengers are experiencing right now. Okay. If that last landing was a landing worthy of a medal, this one is worthy of a trophy. Nope, nope, not yet. Stop calling me that! Alright, here we go. Woo! Okay, yep, we're down. Well, that was tough. Okay, turning this way. Gonna stabilize. Just go straight down the middle of the runway. Feeling pretty normal about this. And... Might as well put the flaps up. Why not? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Great! A spectacular maneuver! Dot, dot, dot. Uh... How are the passengers going to get off the plane? I indeed have the same question. How are they going to get off the plane? But the bigger question is how is the plane going to get off the bridge? No idea. And it it gets interesting because next, uh, as you can see, we're floating a little bit. Next mission, we're literally in the plane ready to take off. I don't know how they turned it around and got it back to the airport, but um, they're pretty efficient in Japan, I think. All right, so next, fire glider. Gliding with a big aircraft is possible, but speed is essential. Will you be able to use the little available correctly after takeoff? So we know we're going to have to glide, so we should probably be careful and make sure we're ready to after we take off. Um, another thing. Um, so for my future videos, I need a name for this guy. And I know in the last video, uh, I, I said uh, I said that I at, put in the comments what you want to name him. Um, this video is being recorded literally 20 minutes after that, so I haven't had time to see your, uh, to see your, um, what do you call it, your input on it. So, please let me know what you guys would like to name this guy. Uh, we need a name for him, other than Mustache Man. So, please let me know. Um, I'll probably have already decided something by now, but, um, I will definitely take your guys' ideas into consideration. So, we're gonna restart that so I can read off what he's got to say. Good morning. Sleep well. I've been glued to the TV all night following what is happening with the volcano. Yeah, and I've been glued to the TV all night wondering how the heck they got the plane from the bridge over here to here. There was an eruption at Oak T on Take Mountain less than two hours ago. All right. Time to get off. Luckily, we are leaving. I don't feel safe with that spewing ash nearby. Ash is very dangerous, and this plane is already precarious on its own. <laughs> Meaning, it already causes its own problems. It doesn't need a, a volcano causing problems for it. Let's take off and get out of here. Reach 30,000 feet. All right. Um, landing tab. Where's that? Uh, flaps is our only. Do, do, do. Okay. All right. All set. And we're ready to go. It's Toga. Gonna get this thing off the ground and be ready to turn around and glide to a landing. Because I guess we're gonna lose all our engines. Probably because of the ash. Um, I would say that's probably why, because it's talking about a volcano, and volcanoes spew ash, and ash messes up engines. So, overnight, some ash probably got in the engines, and, uh, that's gonna cause them to go boom or something like that. Okay, flaps and gear up. Gonna get as much speed as we can, because we know something's gonna go wrong. Oh yeah, we want to get to 30,000 feet. We want to be close to the runway and high up. Wow, plane's still increasing in speed. That's pretty good. Woo! That's a cool picture. Nice. Whoa! Okay, what was that? I think it was an ash cloud. Okay. Hopefully the engines will keep up. Yeah, okay, we gotta turn around now. Oh, shoot! Woo! Oh, oh, sorry. I panicked there. Okay, spoke too soon. Put out the fires. Okay, gotta put them out. 
Okay, we gotta turn on the APU. Do 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 do. Where's that? Where's the APU? There. That's the anti ice. We want the APU and turn this sucker around. Okay. Regain control with the APU and take it to the ground by gliding. Balance the speed well. If you arrive slowly, we will not be able to correct it. Okay. Ooh, we're going really slow. Okay. Okay, we're at a good altitude actually. There's not much. We really don't have to worry that much about speed. All right. Here comes the gliding bit. So the question is, when do we pull out the uh, gear and the flaps? I'd say once we go over land, we should do it. Actually, I think we could do it right now. My judgment says now. Good job, judgment. All right, gears all the way down. Planes already at 170 knots. Good landing speed. There we go. And we're down. Listen to that silence. You would think that a plane would make a little more noise even if the engines were all off. Okay. Something like that, don't you think? Alright, I got the plane back on on the uh, actual runway because I'm messing with the camera Woo! all right look at that boat look at that big boat that's probably how the plane got over here they probably put it on the boat <laughs> oh what a wonderful sight well, I think we're going to have a long stop over in Japan it's going to be days before we can take off again man this plane's got some issues after this heroic landing, I think we will not have problems finding a girl to hang out with. <laughs> I don't think so either. That was really cool though. With the ash cloud and everything. Let's replay that. Let's see what... Let's watch the ash cloud. Okay, so the ash cloud doesn't show up in the replay, but it really... It's just gonna show the blow up. Whoa. Boom! And then I'm like... Thank you so much for watching. Watch this plane come to a stop, and I will see you all for the next video. Bye bye. I'm gonna let you guys watch this. Uh, watch this plane stop. Hmm.